Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm sorry if um, lately I haven't published any video but I've been uh, very busy with my job. So being uh, in autumn uh, with the incoming winter season, keeping the bicycle clean is a tedious task of course. If you have an electric jet washer retailing price 90 to 100 pounds, you can complete this task in minutes. Although you need to be careful during the cleaning phase, staying away from the bearing of the bottom bracket and the wheel sub because the pressure of the water might damage them. Most of the portable jet washer need a plug for the electricity or they have to be attached to a water tap. Or you have to use a bucket, therefore they are not very portable dash mobile. So Karcher sells a jet washer which is good, but in my humble opinion uh, it's a bit chunky for a portable device. Seeing these prices made me think to convert my old 8 liter garden pressure spray. A few years ago I decided to buy one because it's portable, it doesn't require electricity and so far it did the job. Now, in the past I washed my bikes numerous times, but having a weak water jet, it took ages to complete this task. Even increasing the pressure of the tank, the water was coming out with a ridiculous pressure. I've seen the 12 volt high pressure car sprayer water pump kit on eBay on sale at £12.49. Now it should be £14.99 if I'm not mistaken. And I decided to build my own DIY portable pressure washer on the budget. In fact, I've already at the tank purchased a few years ago and the lipo battery used to power one of my drones. So to summarize you need an 8 liter garden pressure sprayer, a portable 12 volt high pressure car sprayer uh, water pump kit, long heavy duty uh, zip ties, some short zip ties, one lipo uh, battery 11.1 volts uh, 3S 25C 2200 milliampere, one uh, DIN connectors or uh, the X T60, depending on the battery you have or uh, you are going to use, some PTF E tape, soldering on iron, some thin wire, heat shrinks, an axle, and a pair of scissors. Connecting the hoses is a super simple task. Secure the hose will suck the water from the tank to the pump using a zip tie. On the other side of the pump, screw the male gardener connector, wrapping previously the PTF E tape for water. After these steps, unscrew just one female Gardena connector, orange hose, pulling the hose out the plug. Cut the hose to the length you need, 70 to 80 centimeters, and rescrew the connector. I remove the spray nodes and trigger lock in a very simple way, just unscrewing it off the tank and using an axle, I cut the thread because I needed a larger hole for the hose of the pump. After inserting the other side of the hose inside the tank, I secure the, the filter uh, using a zip tie. I double check that the filter was placed at the bottom of the tank, so in this way I can use every single uh, bit of water. I attach the pump and the battery to the tank using the long zip ties, six to be precise. Attaching also some adhesive uh, velcro to the tank in order to hold the battery in place uh, using uh, uh, three long uh, zip ties. The idea is to create a kind of a loophole um, with the zip ties that keep the battery in place, uh, being at the same time uh, easy removal. Now, a uh, little bit of warning again, keep the LiPo battery away from the water when you fill the tank, because otherwise it can catch fire. Please be aware that the tank can stay still when empty because of the added weight of the pump and the battery. To solve this problem, I've unscrew. Uh, the bottom of the pump attaching the cap of a shaving foam. I wanted to find a better solution, but the cap is made of sturdy plastic, it matches the uh, diameter of the pump and it's exactly long 5 cm, which is the gap between the bottom of the pump and the floor. Congratulations, you built your DIY portable and mobile 12 volt high pressure washer.